So another thing that I thought would be useful and handy would be to actually show people my plans for the interior fit out. So obviously you can see the plan and the reason that it's white here whereas the rest of the plan is that dark brown colour is because this is really a cut and paste of my ideas of the fit out. So Vanderstadt have their standard interior fit out suggestions but really as anybody who has built a boat would know you can really do as you please. There's lots of modifications and changes that you can do that will meet your needs which is what I've done here. So if we start in the transom here, Mistress has a sugar scoop transom. On the port side here there will be quite a large berth that'll actually go right back to this hull floor underneath. On top of that hull floor will be a low wall and that whole aft section will be a lazarette. On the starboard side here there will be a single berth as can be seen. The space forward of the single berth will be the navigation area and also all the electrical control panels, radios, other electronic devices. The plans here show this somewhat pivoting seat, the orientation of which is looking athwartships. I'm going to change that and I will have a seat in here and I'll be looking forward and so the chart table will be in here. Forward of that is the head as you can see and it's quite a large space actually all things considered. There'll be space for hanging wet weather gear, there'll be a shower off the bulkhead here and that will all have its own sump drainage so that when showering a sump pump will pump the wastewater overboard. Back to the port side, it's not going to be exactly like this. I, I may have some small seat or I may utilise that space for hanging space and lockers. Moving forward of the aft cabin is the galley and in actual fact this will extend back to about here because this, is go this space here is going to be the fridge freezer. Double sinks, they'll probably be configured one here and one here to give more bench space in here. Forward of that is the saloon area and that will be somewhat of a U-shape, seating coming around to about here. Underneath here will be 300 litres of water storage and a lot of other storage off the back of the saloon area here, a lot of storage area. Galley table of course and that will actually wrap around the mast step post here. Forward of the heads will be a lounge seating area and underneath this bunk to complement the water storage here will be another 300 litres of water storage under here and as mentioned on the starboard side a lot of storage back here that really will be a large space for storing all sorts of things. So forward of the saloon of course is the V-berth area of which I'm working on now and this is the anchor locker bulkhead in which case the locker storage area is all up here. So just to recap and quickly, anchor storage, V-berth, cupboard space either side, the saloon area with water storage. Another thing to mention is below the saloon seating back here will be battery banks for power storage, the galley, fridge freezer, the heads including the shower, the nav area, 
where I'll be sitting facing forward and that will have all the electronic control panel etc in there. Below the companionway steps is the engine of course. Single berth there with walking space to get aft and then the double berth on the port side here. Lazarette storage area back here astern and then of course the sugar scoop. So there you have it folks, there's the plans of where we're headed, where I'm headed with regards to the fit out of Mistress. If you have any comments or any questions, please feel free to put them below, make a comment, sing out a question if you have any, and I will be sure to get back to you to the best of my abilities. Look forward to hearing from you, and that's all there is for this week's Tech Talk. I hope you enjoyed it and all the best. Bye for now.